What is up, everybody? This is Easy. Easy Street Gaming. It's a new series that we have. It's kind of a short film. It's going to be kind of quick from now on. This first one's looking to be a little longer. Uh, this this first one here, we're going to go over war patterns, kind of what they all mean, and uh, then we'll go into the Red Berserker, and then from now on, we'll just hit it, hit one partner and go into the war patterns on it. So first thing that everyone I think should learn is what all of the different what every position or all the different uh, that the war patterns are what they're in first we have the left hand um, you can see that they have advanced attributes in common the advanced are like the main ones that that you really want to see on the different uh, positions doesn't necessarily mean that that's what your um, particular hero is going to need but for the left hand the, the main attribute the advanced attribute would be the speed for the helmet it was the critical rate and critical rate damage and for the right hand it's resistance and hit now you can also have hit point percentage attack percentage defense percentage and there's also even plus uh, attack and plus uh, defense and plus hit point you can get all that on the hands and the helmet as well but um, take it from me you really want to get the percentages on the on the hands and helmet the, those pluses do help at first because you'll have lower hit points on your heroes when you first get them So that's when you, the plus will be more beneficial than maybe the percentage right at first Now that the chest and both feet they have set attributes for the first attribute um, They'll always be For example the, the left leg will always have defense the right leg will always have hit point The chest will always have attack those will always be plus those will never be percentage and then after that, the second to fifth attributes are just like everything else. They, they're, they're, they all vary. The advantage for having one of these war patterns that have multiple attributes right at the beginning is first, you'll enjoy the benefits of whatever attributes there are right from the start. But then you'll also know what it's going to have on it. So you'll know certain certain one of your certain heroes you want certain attributes on. And sometimes you'll you think you want uh, defense. And you, you start off with defense on it, and then the next three attributes on it are kind of trashy, so you don't really want it after all. So, the very first, now we're getting into the different rankings of the war patterns. The very first one is, a, is the common war pattern, which is gray. The second one is called magic. They're, they're the ones that are uh, green. That means they have two attributes on it. The third kind is called rare. It has three attributes on it right from the beginning. Uh, now, you'll see that these up top, I've actually upgraded to get to the rare sta standing on them. But you can get them rare, so they'll be level zero or level one or whatever, and they'll have all three attributes on it already. Um, now this this next one is ancient. It has four attributes. Now here it says it's level ten if you look at the top of the screen. But you can also get these ancient ones that are uh, level zero, and you'll have all four on it. And as I'm shuffling through here, trying to find the last one, it's, it's called legendary, and that means it'll have all. Every one of the attributes will be listed when you first get it, uh, and that means that the war pattern itself will be at level zero. So you'll have to upgrade it to to whatever level you want to get it to. So I just I helped out at the top of the screen here, <laughs> and just put it at plus fifteen. That's, that's not really a level nine or twelve or whatever it was. So now there's a star rating on every one of your war patterns too, and there's a lot of questions as far as the star ratings should you upgrade a one star war pattern should you even use a one star war pattern um, what are the differences between the one star and the five stars basically what, what what happens is the lower the star value is the lower the starting point would be and as you're upgrading it will go up slightly less than it will uh, with a larger star so the one star will starts off at like one percent and when you go up to the, the second will be two percent and three percent Whereas the five star will start off at like eight percent, and then it will go to ten, then thirteen, and then and so forth. This might be common sense to most people, but just remember that the higher the star rating means the higher that the end result of the war pattern will be. So if you have a five star rating, then the end result w might be uh, forty-five or fifty percent of whatever uh, attribute it is. Whereas a one star, uh, it's going to upgrade one percent each time. So a max level fifteen will only be fifteen percent. Up next, we're going to break down the, the Red Berserker, and I'm just going to kind of show you what I, what I would do from start to finish as far as f finding what war patterns you're going to use on certain heroes. The first thing you want to do, once you get it, is you're going to look at all of its different skills. The Red Berserker has three skills to start off with. 
the first one doesn't really tell us anything but the second one on the red berserker it already kind of tells you what you what we need to do um, if you look at what I've circled here in green and what the arrow is it says that uh, there will be an increase with every critical rate attack dealt so it says a 30% increase for every critical rate attack that means that the more critical rate attacks there are the better for this particular uh, partner so we're going to try to get the critical rate up as high as possible for the third skill it says it can deal higher damage when it has a higher max hit point and that's just another clue as far as what you want to do for the war patterns uh, it's called battle alliance and it does more damage with a higher max hit point therefore we're going to want to try to get the hit points up as high as possible so we can do two we can go about this two different ways we can either add hippo which hippo a set of two is 15 percent hit point and you know we have six different slots so we can put six war patterns in that could be up to 45 percent extra hit point but what i decided to do was actually use all six slots for wolf it it does 12 percent critical rate it gives you a 12 percent critical rate increase so but I think the best way to go but now you may you may decide that this isn't the best way you that you'd like to do it So this is just all my opinion on how I want to go about doing it. I decided that I wanted to put six wolf on And that would give me a 45% increase in the critical rate And then I can try to get the hit point percentage in the actual attributes in the war patterns themselves and Therefore I can get up higher with the, with the max hit points as well so what I did was to get all the war patterns uh, for the wolf you're going to the plane uh, in adventure and I know that I know that everything's moving kind of fast Just expert editing once again <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go into the plane we're gonna we're gonna run through plan and try to pick up all the war patterns I didn't want to use the berserker at level one so what I did was I went to the altar and I fed him a bunch of these uh, ballys got him up to like level 20 he can go up he's for a three-star level 25 is max so I don't really want to push through the entire 25 levels in adventure so I had a bunch of ballets so I just fed him a bunch of ballets and got him up to level 20 that that was short in his time that he has to spend in adventure to probably one good run through adventure and then I, then I'll be able to push him up to a four star and get him on his way up to a five star so I've decided that we're gonna use wolf all six and I'm gonna fast forward through all this because we don't really need to watch the attacks we're, this is mainly just focusing on the war patterns um, now something that you do have to be mindful of though is don't settle for something you don't want a lot of people do that a lot of people they'll, they'll take the first thing that they get um, now when you're first starting and you're having one star of war patterns because you're in the you're in the, the very first stages then you can just take whatever war patterns but make sure you take you get sets of war patterns we'll talk about that more in a few minutes but it's much more important to have sets of war patterns when you're first starting out and then once you have five star war patterns then the actual attributes on the war patterns and the, the the level on them will be much more important so for new players starting out getting sets of war patterns is is more important than upgrading them or the stars on the actual uh, or the attributes on the war patterns the reason is because you're going to have one star war patterns for the most part and let's say if you have a one star war pattern that starts off at one percent if you maxed it out well, or if you upgraded it 12 times you'll probably get less than one set which is a 12% critical rate damage so let's say if you had critical rate you got critical rate on the helmet and you want and you have a one star war pattern you will upgrade it and upgrade it and upgrade it by the time you get to the 12th you'll have 12% critical rate damage now once it's a five star war pattern you'll be all the way up to 55% so yeah you can keep the one star war patterns but don't try to upgrade them just make sure you use complete sets on them and then you'll be able to enjoy the full benefit of them right away you'll be able to use the the, the bonuses from the sets that way you're not wasting your soul you get souls what it takes what you need to spend in order to uh to upgrade the war patterns save the soul for later on so a little recap learn what every war pattern actually does learn what the hippo does learn what smilodon does learn what wolf does learn what they all do um try to learn what they all what what every one of the attributes actually mean to i know it gets confusing with resistance and hit for a lot of people also 
you should know what each position the hand the head the, the the each feet know what each position what what their major attribute would be the left hand being speed the helmet being critical rate and critical rate damage the right hand being resistance and hit um, get in the habit of reading all the skills for each one of your heroes because a lot of times it will tell you what you need to use it will tell you right there in the skills if it needs hit points if it needs defense if, what, what, is, what it needs and if it does not offer any clues at all we actually just had a video on this uh, two or three videos back um, go t go to the top people in your server and check out what they are using on the same heroes and try to copy them if not come back to, to this channel easy street gaming and hopefully by the time you get to it we'll have a video out on it we're trying to do one for every single one of the partners and we're just copying the best players too so we're not doing anything different than you're doing if you're copying the best players in your server that's what I do too. That's what everyone everyone does. You copy them until you know them well enough to do them yourself. So I hope you enjoyed the video. This is just kind of a, a brief overlook uh, on on what war patterns are. And from now on, we're going to get into the individual different heroes and what war patterns you should use on each hero. So come back to see me. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.